Well, on Tuesday, NASA will complete a mission of discovery that began more than a half century ago. Since 1962, U.S. robotic spacecraft and landers have visited every planet in the solar system, from Mercury to distant Neptune, except for one. Pluto, an icy dwarf planet three billion miles from Earth. We have liftoff. A space probe called New Horizons is on its way to capture images of a mysterious world that may hold the secret to the origins of our solar system. That's from Chasing Pluto, airing Wednesday night on PBS. Joining us are Time Magazine editor-at-large Jeffrey Kluger and Julia Court, deputy executive producer for Nova. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. This is so exciting. It, Tuesday is the big day. We get within 7,700 miles of Pluto, right, Jeffrey? I mean, yes. that's, that sounds like pretty far away, but... In the grand scheme of things, it's right next door. Absolutely. It's three billion miles out to Pluto. So this is practically arm's reach. <clears throat> and the way they got there was with a spacecraft that's designed for speed and designed for economy. New Horizons is only half the size of the Voyager probe that, that reconnoitered four planets back in the 1980s. That's important because lightness allows speed the spacecraft is moving at 32,000 miles an hour the fastest wow. any spacecraft has gone it passed the orbit of the moon in nine days wow. it took the apollo astronauts three days or nine hours rather it took the apollo astronauts three days to yeah. make that distance so it's it's just been it's been fast it's been fleet it's been efficient even though we discovered pluto 85 years ago, I remember reading something that said, we don't even rewrite textbooks, we're just writing textbooks because relatively nothing is known about this planet. What is the hope by studying it, by getting images, what do you guys hope to achieve? Well, a lot of what's going to be learned, the spacecraft has on board imagery for ultraviolet, ultraviolet imagery, chemistry, gravity, the surface topography, and cameras that can resolve images as small as a football field. Now think about this. We are three billion miles from Pluto, but it would be like flying over Central Park and being able to see a football field in the middle of Central Park. We'll learn about the structure of this strange, icy, rocky world. We'll learn about whether it has volcanic activity. We'll learn about whether it has ancient surfaces or if slush volcanoes are forever resurfacing it in sort of a glittering coating of ice. Julia, tell us about the team that, that put this together, because this, this was planned, planned 10 years ago. Well, it actually, it took off nine and a half years ago, so the planning goes back even, even further. Even further than that. So it's this remarkable group of people, all kinds of scientists, planetary scientists, engineers, mm -hmm. that had to come together to do this. And many of them have spent their whole careers Toward, working towards this moment, this week. And Leslie Young, who's one of the lead scientists, as a student back in the 80s, she was part of the team that discovered Pluto's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And as uh, Kathy, um, I'm sorry, Alice Bowman, who is the missions operation manager, or mom, uh, says, they think about this spacecraft as if it's their child, child their yeah. baby. Because they lost communication at several points during this mission. That must have been terrifying to think all that love up there, so far away. Absolutely. Um, just on July 4th, they uh, lost communication completely, and nobody knew what was going on. And they finally figured out, basically, the computer crashed. Mm -hmm. The main computer crashed and it did what it was programmed to do, which was reboot. But for a couple hours, there was no contact. Mm -hmm. They had to make contact with the backup computer. It's on a different frequency. And it took several days to get it back on track. So it was very bad timing for that to happen. You can't exactly get the IT guy to get out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, just can't, we can't wait to see the images. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Julia Court, Jeffrey Kluger, nice to see you both. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.